make it show. It, it, it will look good uh, to the end of this video. So I'm actually going to take this background out and I will be giving it some padding to 10 pixels. Okay, then I'm going to say div id login from h2 will uh, have a background of uh, a grayish color, a very lightish gray. And I'm going to actually take this padding off. Okay, and I'm going to provide padding to the child elements. Then I'm going to say Tip ID login form uh, class form elements. Okay, in the same way we have our label, and in the very last we have our inputs. So, let's say input out here. Okay guys, everything looks good. I'm going to hit refresh for one time. And now we actually would be using Firebug in order to install it. If you guys don't have Firebug, I recommend you to go ahead and install it. And if you don't even have Firefox, so install Firefox first. <coughs> okay, now very first I would be installing my farm elements. So I'm going to say padding to 10 pixels. Okay, that looks fine. Then I'll come to my labels. I'm going to say label to float towards the lift. Okay. And uh, okay, not float towards lift, just have a display of block. Like this. It's not fine. Have a display to block. I'm pairing to 5 pixels. And uh, then I would be having, you know, a font size. To 14 pixels like this, and let's say font family to Arial. Uh, okay, Arial is already easier. Really, this much is fine. We can copy it and we will paste it to our labels. <coughs> From elements, we give padding to 10 pixels. Come back, refresh. Now we would be installing our input tags. This particular one. So I'm gonna say at the end we had it, five pixels. Okay. Margin left to two pixels. Okay, that would be five as well. Then there would be a border to one pixel solid gray. And a border radius. To four pixels. Okay, four pixels. But that one was looking nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, that one looked good. And we can actually use that, isn't? Can't we? And give it some more padding, like this. Then give it a width to let's say 200 pixels. More, more, more. Okay. Till here. It looks fine, right? If, it, if it's looking ugly, guys, that's fine. Just let me know. Then we can start it even awesome in the next video. Okay, that would be for input. And out here, I'm gonna say input type would be text and input type equals to password. Input type equals to password. So it will only do it on the input which have a type of password and text. So we we'll leave our this very small login button. Okay, I'm gonna give it some margin. Yeah. 10 pixels. Okay, out here. Looks fine. I'm gonna copy it. And I will be pasting it out here on the leaf. Okay. Okay, that's 
fine, but uh, now if you will see that our actual login form is not looking like a login form because we need to give it some background. So out here, I'm going to say background to F6, F6, F6. Don't worry guys, or we won't be able to see the background of heading. We gotta make it awesome label. Okay, then you know, give it some water to one pixel solid gray. Okay, come back. Let's see how does it look. Okay, that's fine. Then, if you people want, give it some bottom radius as well to four pixels. We're gonna have the prefixes for mass and for our bucket. That would be bucket. Yep, seems good. I'm gonna copy them and I'm gonna paste it here as well. And they would be for PC. That's fine. Now we need one more thing that would be, you know, like making this particular login button look good. So I'm not gonna do it manually, guys. Every time the one thing I use is CSS button generator. Yep, CSS button generator background. So Firefox cannot find the server. That's a CSS button generator this one still is not finding oh my gosh that's horrible now it will find it <coughs> okay we have it here I'm gonna increase its bottom radius from here okay Pretty fine, and I don't need anything else now. I'm just gonna hit this particular button. I'm gonna copy everything. Or right, one more thing we can do is border size to zero. This one looks fine. Copy, come here, and paste it here. Go back to your login.php file and give it a class to my button. Very simple, guys. The best way to create awesome buttons. Fine. One more thing we need to do is giving it a bottom to a map. That's a bottom. Map. Come back. Let's see. That's looking fine. Now we can give it some margin left. So you know, I'm gonna say margin left to 10 pixels. That's out here. Okay. To 11 pixels. Lift to 11 pixels. Okay, and uh, uh, what else we can do? This one is fine, this one is fine. Okay, yep. We can give them, you know, a bold font weight. Let's see how that will look. Let's say font weight to bold. That looks ugly. Yeah, that one looks bad. Alright, guys, we do one more thing. We're gonna look for HTML color codes info. And I'm gonna find a very good text color. That won't be black, but something near to black. Uh, let's say this 6361 for our labels. On the top, right here, color to six three six one six one. Come back. Okay, that that looks fine. Now you we can even try that font with font. Font. Now that that's look fine. Font weight to bold font size to 13. Now refresh it. 
that looks fine. Okay. Now we are only left with our heading. We need to provide some div color to our heading. So again, back to HTML color content form. And finding a good gray color. Let's say D9, D5, D5 for our heading. Background. Come back. Refresh. Okay, now we got it. I believe that's look fine, guys. Okay, so here we got some styling to our login page, you know, with some cool colors to our actual login form. In the next video, I'm going to show you uh, how to write the PHP in order to validate this form. And if the person is logged in successfully, how to redirect the person to the next page at creating session and everything. So, see you guys.